Hello, welcome to InsectX, Information Security Technologies. I'm Kiran Kovala and your mentor for this uh, ethical hacking video tutorials for this chapter lab setup. So this is small demonstration how to set up uh, your own computer lab using only a single uh, computer computer. Okay, and uh, please do not perform uh, real time attacks on real time servers uh, like any other remote servers on internet. So for this uh, uh, purpose uh, we are looking uh, we are here to set up our own laboratory at home so that you can pack practice all your ethical hacking related tools techniques and of course your course on entirely on your own machine okay uh, in which we will actually uh, set up few operating systems on a single uh, host computer basically and we will install some servers and how to look up uh, how, to, how to set up and practice your lab modules okay so basically this is a pictorial uh, representation of uh, setup setting up your uh, laboratory uh, right so at home you you might have a computer with 2 gb ram uh, or uh, 4 gb ram uh, my computer has 8 gb ram but uh, if you're financially really if you're financially really good uh, you can opt uh, go for a gaming uh, gaming laptop which is alienware uh, has uh, you can you can order a customized uh, lappy with 24 GB uh, RAM DDR3 and process, uh, processor Intel i7 right and you can either install Windows or uh, Ubuntu uh, which is Linux operating system right uh, on your host computer basically so the physical computer which is your physical machine is called as a host machine and the operating systems which other operating systems uh, that you install on your computer are all called as guest operating systems actually you are not installing side by side but you are installing uh, all this operating system on a on an application called as virtual box or a vmware so this application uh, virtual box or a vmware allows you to install of multiple operating systems on your host operating system okay uh, so in this lab tutorial uh, we will see how to install virtual box on windows machine uh, you can download VMware application also to for the same purpose both application supports installing multiple operating systems and we, we will also see how to install VirtualBox on a Windows operating uh, Linux operating system so anyway uh, I will also show you how to install uh, operating systems uh, like Windows Windows Server 2003 maybe we call this as uh, 2003 or windows which will uh, another windows operating system like xp for using attack like we have windows tools uh, and we will use backtrack operating system backtrack is a security professionals distribution it has huge collections of excuse me it has huge, huge collection of uh, security tools uh, related to security auditing performing hacking and everything and one another operating system is ubuntu which is uh, linux distribution very famous is it easy and handy to use uh, okay and I also I will also show how to install backtrack uh, related uh, tools like security tools on a Windows uh, sorry on a Ubuntu system so as said uh, for the right now assume that you have a Windows machine uh, let's go and install VirtualBox uh, application right so anyway I will also show how to network them right so I have already downloaded a uh, virtual box application this is a virtual box application which I have downloaded but you can actually uh, go through the internet and uh, you can download one virtual box operating system oh, some uh, attacks are performing going on my people may be uh, working over there so I'll just no problem for me okay no thanks right download virtual box for windows okay so virtual box is actually uh, developed by uh, oracle so go to the download section virtual box dot org wiki downloads so you can uh, download 
if you are using virtual box uh, you can download for your uh, virtual box operating from this screenshot depend depending upon your operating systems and architecture okay any anyway i have already downloaded my application over here and obviously it's already installed but still i will show you how to install them so double click on it preparing to install uh, this is a pop up that will uh, pop when you double click on the application to initiate the application welcome to virtualbox vmware uh, 4.4 setup wizard simply just uh, click next 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 until it gets in installed uh, it's very simple installation uh, that's uh, there is uh, nothing a uh, technical thing related here so I'll just cancel here for this thing are you sure you want to cancel it? yes because I have already uh, installed so now it's it's installed let's go to a virtual box application so this is the primary interface where actually uh, you start installing your guest operating systems okay i have already installed one two three four five operating systems uh, which is xp backtrack ubuntu and server as shown and one another is which is viata which is a router operating system okay so this is how you actually install uh, operating system if you want to install new operating system simply click new uh, and this is this uh, this is the interface to uh, customize or uh, configure your operating system basically okay click next give the machine name like uh, I am going to set up Windows Windows XP okay it's already there but if you are uh, if you want another operating system just type the name and select the distribution type in the previous uh, pop-up menu pop-up uh, window and select your RAM size okay uh, 512 next create a uh, hard disk virtual hard disk okay the virtual hard disk would be named as dot vdfa whatever name you give just to dot vda next next yes dynamically dynamically expand the storage it initially occupies very small amount of space on the physical disk it will grow dynamically depends upon uh, up to the specific size as guest os claims the disk space means if you have given 10 it will actually allocate the minimum space uh, size and it will uh, go till the 10 GB is occupied next uh, you can give you can specify here the size of your virtual hard disk uh, let's go let's choose for 13 GB finish before clicking finish this is where this is the name of your virtual hard disk windows.vda and it is located in C user Kiran virtual box VMS and windows which is the name of uh, operating system and the file okay finish what happened uh, okay as simple as that so now you have a windows operating system created so this is the information general information uh, you can set up at uh, top of screen or you can go to other you can actually change uh, the RAM size from here you can disconnect or uh, connect flop if you don't want or want okay you can enable and it works processing you have only one processor right uh, display a remote display enable sir if you want to enable remote display video and the storage type as said uh, this is a storage which is your virtual hard disk and if you want to mount any CDs like ISO files which you have downloaded use this option and select CD from this place say if you want to install uh, uh, if you want to run backtrack on your windows system choose backtrack as well since now i'm going to install windows click this option now windows uh, iso file has been mounted so there is it windows xp uh, it's an oper operating system iso file audio uh, enable audio network enable so this is place this is a place where you this is a mm, uh, option in a menu where you actually configure your networking basically if you want to enable network adapter disable network adapter uh, uncheck this box or if you if you check this you can actually uh, configure your network adapter okay uh, for this demonstration you can actually use bridge and since i have wi-fi i can go for wi-fi or i can also go for ethernet that is wide connection serial ports if you want any enable serial ports you can enable serial ports if you want uh, USB to be enabled uh, from physical computer to your virtual computer, you can use this option. And if you want to share files from physical uh, system to a virtual system, this is the place. 
uh, simply click share folders and add your folder say I have a folder on my desktop for example I have a folder 23 on my desktop click check mm, uh, select it and if you want to read only check it if you want auto mode check it okay so that's done okay so now if you start you can install windows operating system which i will be showing you in another videos so we have individual videos for how to set up uh, uh, windows xp operating system windows 2003 server operating systems ubuntu and backtrack in uh, in the in later videos in this in this chapter itself so this is basically a small uh, demonstration to how to set up uh, operating systems or for your lab purpose okay now if you want a networking say for example uh, as shown this is my physical computer if my physical computer is connected to, to a router okay let me choose another color a router like a wireless router over here i'm not good at drawing brothers so my god let me so this is my wireless router okay and it is in turn connected to a internet outside world okay right so this is the internet right so this is internet and this is your wi-fi router like belkin or any other okay now since it is a wireless you can actually uh, set up uh, configure your network where is network here it is select this option it's running anyway select the option go to the bridge adapter and choose your wireless if you are if you have only wired connections okay okay if you have wired connections you can actually go to the same place uh, same network pane and choose for uh, wide broadcam internet giga ethernet basically okay that is my wide connection so if you if you can check all these connections to wide you, you can have a small LAN setup at your home itself right so now we will be seeing in the next video how to install windows uh, server operating system ubuntu and backtrack uh, we will also see how to install backtrack tools on a ubuntu operating system okay so guys uh, uh, let's meet in the next videos okay